Was Taproot a wise decision? In this video, I'm going to make the case that Taproot hasn't lived up to expectations. First, Schnorr signatures were being hyped as a new way to do multi-sig. Musig and Frost had only one public key and one signature on chain, but underneath there would be multiple signers, not only providing privacy, but also saving space, reducing fees. But once Taproot activated, only a few Lightning wallets used it. Why? Because of the interaction requirements. Instead of a single round of collecting signatures, Musig and Frost required multiple rounds of collecting and sharing data before a signature could be generated. The bad user experience basically made it a non-starter. Second, script path spends from the Merkleized abstract syntax tree was supposed to give us all kinds of different ways to back up our UTXLs. We could have, for example, three of five of our friends help us recover our funds should we lose our private key. Except that the act of setting up the backup solution was more difficult than setting up a traditional multi-sig setup, which meant that it really wasn't an improvement. What's worse, you had to have the entirety of the taproot script tree to be able to spend from any of the script paths, and you need the Merkle root to even spend from the key path, which makes backing up a nightmare, which is why wallets haven't implemented it. Third, 95% of taproot outputs are now spam like ordinals and BRC20. The argument by the developers has been that the same could have been done using just SegWit or even pay to script hash. But what they ignore is that Taproot had significant trolling value as the upgrade that Bitcoiners were placing their hopes in. The spammers used Taproot because of the damage to the Bitcoin's reputation. The increase in the social attack surface of this upgrade wasn't accounted for at all, let alone considered. Taproot can, of course, redeem itself. Maybe Arc ultimately decentralizes mining. Maybe BitVM creates way more Bitcoin demand. But so far, Taproot has not lived up to the cost users paid to get it.